Welcome back. We're still looking at uh, women's issues uh, during the month of August because it is Women's Month in South Africa and we've been tackling and looking at issues in various areas. And uh, the daily struggles of women extend beyond the home, as we all know, work and on the streets. Now, the media is a mirror of society and uh, usually accused of enforcing stereotypes. But the struggle still goes far beyond what is uh, uh, beamed through the screens. A lot happens in the background. Today we shine the spotlight on women in the film industry to explore their struggles. And uh, joining me uh, to chat about this, I'm joined by Jackie Mutsepi, who is the Chief Operating Officer at the KwaZulu-Natal Film Commission. We also have Yolanda Tsogotwana, who is uh, the NFVF Production and Development Manager of uh, Documentaries. I'm hoping we'll also be joined in a short while by Ayanda Halimana. And uh, in fact, she's going to be joining us uh, right now. So let's uh, uh, welcome you ladies, thank you very much for joining us thank and uh, happy mm -hmm. Women's Month to both of you. Thank, thank you. you, Peter. Thank All you. right, so film and television. Um, and I, <laughs> when I go on sets and so I see a lot of women, mm -hmm. but for some reason, the women don't have as much influence as they ought and are not always occupying the positions that can make a difference in a lot of the issues. Why do you think we're there, Jackie? Um, well, I think it uh, has a lot to do with the gender, gender equity mm. in, the, in the film industry. And there's still a lot of work that needs to be done, you know, to, to level the, the playing mm. field. So we still don't have a lot of uh, women producers, um, and they're basically the people who are going to hire the team that's going to work on any, any production. We still don't have a lot of uh, women directors in the industry, mm -hmm. um, you know, and they're obviously the ones who, who call the shots, uh, create the, the images that we see on screen. Um, as well as uh, women heads of department, uh, you know, within, within, within a production. Um, so women's uh, leadership role in the film industry, we still have a, a very, very long way to go. So you will see a lot of women um, in various roles, yeah. whether it be in wardrobe, makeup, continuity, other, other areas yeah. of, of production. But I guess in key decision-making roles in a film, we yeah. really don't have a lot of women and there. And until we get them in key decision-making roles, chances are that a lot of what's been going on will continue. That's absolutely mm. right, yeah, absolutely. All right, so documentary making, um, again, you know, these are areas where really uh, should have access to everybody. Why is it, again, we're still finding this scenario playing out even in the documentary arena? Um... I think the biggest um, issue is 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 access, um, access in terms of opportunities and access in terms of funding. Um, you find that um, women, like Jackie was saying, are always um, at the lower levels in production, mm -hmm. and they're not at the forefront. They're not the ones that are raising the money, um, and even not that they're not capable, but that yeah. they're not given an opportunity. Um, but I think. It's changing every day. Mm. Um, there's a lot of initiatives that are, 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 are geared towards women to actually help women and actually to give them a level played field. All right. Okay, uh, Ayanda, thanks so much indeed for joining us and welcome to the program. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so you're a script writer. Yes. You're able to create stories. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how women are portrayed and so on and so forth. But what would you say is the biggest challenge facing women in general in the film and, and television? I think um, in my experience, first of all, I think it's very important mm. for me to mention that I've been... Um, I've had so much help from yeah. other women in the industry. Jackie is one of them, Ketu mm. and Nobo, people who can actually hold your hand through these difficulties. Mm. And I think for me, one is access. You know, we find that we have to struggle, we have yeah. to have connections, we have to do twice as much as our counterparts. But I think for me, you know, the positive as well is that when we do actually work together, we are able to break those barriers. Mm. Jackie, this is an international problem, and I, I, yes. I, and I stand to be corrected, but as far as I know, um, there's only ever been one female director that's won an Oscar for 
uh, directing a film, uh, 2009, Hurt Locker. That's right. How is that possible? That's right. Yes, yes, it is. It is an international problem. You know, it's, we're, not, we're not unique in, in, in South Africa. Um, and I think it's bef because of the reasons that we, yeah. that we say, you know, in terms of the decision-making role. Um, but I think what we can possibly do um, yeah. and what we're trying to do as, a, as entities, as institutions, um, is to see how we can make the mm. environment more enabling for women. Um, so we've run um, in partnership with, uh, with National um, specific programs that are geared towards um, you know, creating more uh, women yeah. creatives in, in, in leadership positions. So we've got um, you know, women development programs, uh, our funding is geared yeah. and, 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 and earmarked specifically for, for women. So that we have um, hopefully more success stories, uh, more women that are able to sustain an industry over a long time, because that's also a challenge mm. um, to try and stay in the industry. Um, but uh, once having established themselves, then you know to possibly um, to gain some of that recognition, some of these awards um, that are being won internationally mm. uh, and, and locally. But it it it, it is um, an international challenge, I would say. Yeah. But um, in South Africa, I think we still got a, a very long way to go. You know, compared to uh, other countries. So access is something that I'm hearing quite a lot constantly, mm. and and I wonder, uh, I mean, how does one fix this? I mean, I, I see um, people like um, Connie Ferguson starting to come through and, and you know, sort of imposing uh, her uh, sort of stature on, on the industry. How do we duplicate the Connie Ferguson's of this world? Um, I think we have to be very deliberate about transforming gender in South Africa. Mm. Um, and we have to be clear and we have to communicate it well and not be afraid to say that at this particular time in time, uh, we are prioritizing women, and it starts from um, it starts from funders. Mm. It starts from broadcasters um, to actually say that we will fund you. However, we w would like you to ensure that, as part of your key creative, as mm. part of your head of, depart of departments, you actually do have women. Because it's not that women cannot do the jobs. Like I was saying, it's the fact that they do not have opportunities. Um, as one, like as a national body, what we've been able to do together with the provincial entities is to say that we will have projects that are tailor-made for women, mm. and we're not afraid to say. Males, we understand that you are going through the struggle, but please sit this one out. Um, and therefore, we have um, initiatives that are like a f we have a female um, filmmaker project mm. where every year full, uh, you, uh, females create 10 projects. Uh, it's first time directors mm. that have been in the industry that uh, have worked very tirelessly in the industry but have never been given the opportunity to, to direct mm. or write their own screen uh, or write their own screenplays. So we are saying that as entities of government, as private entities, um, as, not as broadcasters, we have to be deliberate about women um, and mm. how we transform them. We cannot beat about the bush um, and we cannot leave it to policy. Mm. I think each and every um, office that we may hold, be a production yeah. house, we need to be really deliberate. There's no women as well in, like in post-production companies um, that are heading up departments. So how do we become deliberate? Mm. We transform in our own spaces and actually be... Um, be not afraid yeah. of actually saying we will prioritize yeah. women and we will give them opportunities because that's how we will get them to actually win best yeah. director for an Oscar. And I think the world is also doing that. Um, like women everywhere, they're coming up together. They are saying we will stand together. We've seen it at um, a few festivals like the Bill and Ali beginning of yeah. the year where yeah. women are literally starting mm -hmm. to come together and saying we need each other and we will stand together. So uh, last week I spoke to women in science, and this is another big thing. And, and one of the challenges has been getting young girls to believe that they can do well in science and get interested in science. Has this been the same for women in film where you've got stereotypical roles that women are given and they believe that that's all that they can aspire to? or? Is it just that they're being held back? Is there also another a leg of this where you have to kind of empower and say to women, listen, there is more that you can do than being a production assistant, than being X, Y, Z? 
So I think that, I mean, um, I'm not that young anymore, yeah. but I'm an example of a young person who had the talent and had to be trained to get mm. the skills. And part of what I do now is to go around doing workshops to empower other um, young creatives. Mm. But I think it's a, it's a bit of a number of things, right? One, we have to say to these young girls, you too can be a film director. And mm. then we have to equip them with the training to do that. And I think in South Africa, the other factor is that we've been so much a television industry mm. than a film industry. And so most of the talent that we get is coming from a television space, which has been pre uh, uh, dominated by males for a very long time. So now to get a young black female head writer a young black um, creative producer recently, uh, we had to be very specific to say we're looking for young black creative females. We All our directors in that series were females. So it's, it's a part of working with the organizations, um, us as teams of women in those spaces, in those opportunities that we get, mm -hmm. that we continue to empower each other. All right, um, Jackie, let's assume we get it right. We get the numbers mm -hmm. right. How would we experience film and television if the n critical number of women were actually in enough leadership roles? Would there be a shift, would there be a change in what we see and what we hear and what we experience? I, I think definitely so. Mm. Um, I think we'd see a different uh, narrative on television. Mm. We see different types of stories being told. We see um, probably a different approach you know, to the way um, films are being done. We'll also see more safety for women on mm. film sets, you know, which is a very big issue. Um, there is an organization actually called Sisters Working in Film and Television in South Africa um, that is tackling this uh, issue head on, you know, that um, film, sets, film sets are not a safe space for women. Um, so if you see more women in, in, in decision-making roles, actually um, calling the shots, as it were, I think it would definitely create a, a safer environment mm. for men and women, actually, um, you know, to be able to, mm. to produce their craft and focus on, on their work. Um, and I, would, I, I think there'll be um, yeah. more fairness, um, there'd be more labour relations mm. issues that are, that, are, that are tackled because right now I think when it comes to labor issues in the film industry um, yeah. I think we've still got a very long way to go we're still quite uh, mm. anti antiquated as far well as let, let's concerned. talk about uh, women on the set and you talk about safety but it's not just that is it I mean men for a long time got paid more than yeah. women yes and yeah. yet they're sort of the two main stars of a movie for example mm. um, how do we fix there's so much to deal with, <laughs> 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 you know, so let's talk about that, you know, mm. from the safety. I mm. mean, uh, we hear these stories in Hollywood now with these big time producers, the famous casting couch. Mm. Is that culture here rife as well? Well, I think the culture of women being yeah. paid less than men um, is, is almost in every industry. It's not mm. specific to, uh, to film. However, how do we correct it? Mm. Um, and I think it's also, again, it's about realizing that we are all the same, we're doing the same job, and on top of doing the same job, we have the same responsibilities mm. and we are bringing the same skills. Um, and again, it's about the entities and, and mm. the broadcasters that can actually interrogate the budget and say how much do you get uh, as, as a male director and how much do you get mm. as a female director because everything should be based on experience and it should be fair. So it's mm. about the people that actually do give in the money to ensure mm. and to hold executive producers accountable to how much they give mm. and how they distribute um, um, money so that everyone is paid yeah. equally and um, and we should also be very transparent um, yeah. in yeah I mean yeah all right so when you fight back there are consequences clearly and that's why there isn't a lot of women fighting back it's hard to fight back because mm. if you think about it our industry is not an industry where you can say you know um definitely sustained, mm. you know what I mean? Like in terms of um, medical aid, I have to source, uh, sort myself out for a number of things, unlike, you know, full-time jobs. Mm. So if I now start talking about, oh my gosh, my fellow director is getting more than me, and if I start making noise, then I'm seen as a problem mm. child, and then I'm labeled as a problem child. And because our industry is still so small, then, you know, people, and I, I, 
I think it's not even just women. I mean, I think what we're trying to encourage now is also for, we can't wait for men to come to the party, but we're saying, can we be equal? Can we balance mm -hmm. things out? Can we be human about things? You know what I mean? And not look at, oh my gosh, you're paying more, uh, you paid more when I fight, then I'm fired. It's again a number of things. Who approved this budget? And who do I report to? And how do they take my matter mm -hmm. in? And so this is where the issues of access also come in. Because let's say I'm an actress on a film set and I'm being sexually harassed by my fellow actor. Who do I report to? Guess what? My exec producer is a man. And mm -hmm. they say, oh, you know, so-and-so is like that. And it must be shoved under, under the carpet. So it's about opening the doors for access to, to communicate, to have spaces that allow us to share our issues. Mm -hmm. And to correct it, I definitely agree with Yolanda. It starts from the people who are actually giving out the money. So if also even there we can get a balance of males and females, people who understand how the industry has been, not just in South Africa, I think we can begin to make changes. All right, we'll continue exploring. There's so many areas and I'm quite, not quite sure often where to go, but uh, we'll, we'll explore some more. We'll take a quick break and when we come back, uh, we continue to ask uh, some tough questions about uh, the state of uh, uh, film industry and uh, television and women. <laughs> 